Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello guys. Okay, uh, for this video, I would like to discuss our next tutorial question for partnership, uh, which is partial question February 2022. Okay, so I want you guys uh, to look at questions number one. Okay, we start from A. So A is the theory from the chapter of partnership. So our theory is Jalina wants to form a partnership. She seeks your opinion on the disadvantages of the partnership. Ah, so these four disadvantages of partnership, guys, there are so many advantages that you can give to me. Okay, let me give you the sample of disadvantages. Okay, number one, when we talk about debts or liability. So partnership, normally we has unlimited liability. Okay, and then when there are so many partners, it is possible that maybe some of you uh, will fight with each other, misunderstanding, isn't it? So this agreement can occur among partners. And then let's talk about profit sharing ratio, guys. Uh, profit and losses must be shared among partners. So the problem is on how we value each other's time and skill spent on business operation. Okay, and then partnership is very fragile. I already told you guys, partnership has limited life. Uh, so partnership need to be dissolved when there is a changes like new partner is admitted, old partner retired or resigned. Uh, other than that, guys, you guys can also uh, mention about resources, uh, limited resources. Uh, because if you compare partnership versus company, of course, company, you can get more capital, more resources uh, compared to partnership. Alright? Okay, settle for our theory. Okay, now we go to our required B. Okay, so what we need to prepare? A1, goodwill. Revaluation. So normally when there is a goodwill and revaluation, you know that this is changes during the year. Okay, and then I will be a profession statement. Look at our accounting period guys. 31st December 2021. Ah, so our accounting period start 1st Jan 2021. We close account 31st December 2021. Okay, what else? And then, you also need to prepare current and capital statement for Sarah only. But for the purpose of tutorial, guys, I am going to show current and capital statement for all partners. Alright? Okay, so let's get started, guys. Okay, now, you know that when there is a changes in the partnership, accounting period split into two. Before changes and after changes. So, before changes is what we call as pre. And after changes is what we call as post. Alright, so let's take a look on our question, everyone. So, we have Sarah, Eileen and Hanis are partners in a partnership. So, these three are original partner. Okay, so that's why I record their information under pre. Okay, followed by... Sharing profit and losses, this is what we call as old profit sharing ratio, 3 to 4 to 2. So what does it mean by 3, 4, 2? 3 for Sarah, 4 for Eileen, 1 for Anis. Uh, when you guys apportion, okay, how do we apportion? For example, Sarah, 3 out of, okay, total up, 3 plus 4, 7, plus 2, 9. So 3 out of 9, 4 out of 9. 2 out of 9. Uh, this is how you apportion. Alright. So, we do have agreement. Uh, the partnership agreement provides that each partner, okay, with 5% interest on capital at the beginning of the year. So, this is partnership agreement. So, we have IOC, 5% based on opening balance. Number 2, interest on drawing, 7%. Okay, IOD. Number three, salary, be careful. Salary, they are two. Whether you are given in terms of annual or month. So if you are good, you are given annual salary, you a portion divided by 12. You are given months, you multiply by number of months. So in this case, 
2004 per month. Ah, so what should we do? Multiply by number of months. Alright? Okay, guys. Ah, guys. Okay, be careful. Question does not mention who received the salary, right? So in that case, guys, three partners deserve to be paid salary. Ah, three of them will receive salary. Okay, next. On 1st January 2021, the accounts balances were as follows. So this is basically our balance BD. Ah, okay, before that guys, how many partners do we have for this question? Actually, we have four. Okay, we have four. So partner number four will be Fatima. Okay, step number one guys, let's prepare our current statement. So you guys record the name of our four partners. Alright, so for current statement, enter opening balance. Okay, current statement, Sarah, Eileen, and then Hanis negative balance, 9,000 ringgit. Okay, record here. Negative means bracket. So when you total up, you deduct. Okay, current statement, balance BD for three of them, 90, 60, 75. Okay, record here. Okay, done. Set up. Okay, next. On 31st August 2021, Sarah resigned. Ah, and then guys, note number two, after Sarah resigned the next day, which is on 1st September 2021, the business invited Fatima to replace Sarah. So this is a new partner. So guys, you know that when something happened to partnership, for example, Sarah Rizan, Fatima is admitted, this is what we call as changes in the partnership and you need to apportion pre-period, post-period. Okay, so you know that Sarah is old partner, so she only exists during pre. Fatima is a new partner, so she only exists during post. So how do we determine pre and post-period? Okay, let's take Sarah. Sarah guys, she resigned at the end of uh, at the end of August. So we need to say August she stays in the partnership more than 15 days, isn't it? So does she entitled to receive benefit? Yes, because she stays more than 15 days. That's why pre-period you include until 31st August. Ah, so pre-period starting from beginning of our accounting period until 31st August, 8 months. So, post period, you guys continue. After 31st August, continue 1st September until we close account another 4 months. Alright? Okay, that's why. Okay, in a appropriation statement, guys. Okay, write down the name of our 4 partners. A appropriation statement for the year ended 31st December 21. Okay, in pre-column, 8 over 12. Post-column, 4 over 12. Uh, this is how you record. Okay, next. And then go back to information number one. Okay, remember guys, Sarah resigned, isn't it? So whenever Sarah resigned, it will affect current statement and capital statement. No more balance CD for Sarah. Uh, that's why guys, normally our first step, close current statement. So balance CD for current statement, guys, later on, you guys are going to transfer to capital statement. Ah, balance CD in capital statement. Ah, this one, we are going to pay to Sarah. So, what method we are going to pay? Okay, read the questions. So, when Sarah resigned from being a partner, any amount due to her, I am referring to balance CD in capital statement. Ah, was agreed to be paid in cash, not check, guys. Cash. So, we need to see the settlement for balance CD for Sarah will be paid in term of cash. That's why in capital statement, under column Sarah, under less, that's why I write here cash in bracket settlement. So, how much we are going to pay to Sarah, it depends on her balance CD. Okay? Alright, done. Okay, next one guys. Information number two. So, when Fatima is admitted as a new partner. So logically thinking guys, she will bring in together with her capital and goodwill. Isn't it? Okay, let's find out how much her capital and goodwill. Okay, Fatima brought in 135,000 into the partnership. Including, meaning to say in 135, 45,000 
which was her share of premium goodwill. So meaning to say 45,000 is her share for premium goodwill. Isn't it? Okay, let's record. Okay, so number one guys, go to capital statement under column Fatima. Okay, you guys record. Bank dash goodwill 45,000. Okay, so how much our capital guys? Our capital including 135. So, how much capital? Okay, 135 you guys minus with goodwill. So, 135 minus 45,000, therefore capital equals to 90,000. Uh, record here, bank dash capital 90,000. Uh, so, capital plus goodwill total up, you will get back 135,000. Okay, guys, as usual, whenever new partners comes in, alright, partnership need to be dissolved. So when partnership need to be dissolved, we need to recalculate, okay, revalue our asset. Asset they are two, tangible asset and intangible asset. So goodwill falls under category of intangible asset, isn't it? Okay, let's settle our goodwill. Settle our goodwill, everyone. So number one, goodwill prepare three columns account. Since goodwill is an asset, so, meaning to say, guys, your three-column account asset increase debit, decrease credit. That's why goodwill account debit column represent plus, credit column represent less. Alright? Okay. So, whenever we record our goodwill, do you know what is goodwill? Goodwill is the brand of the company. Uh, the more famous is the brand of your company, the higher the value of your goodwill. Okay. So, guys, when we record our goodwill, we need to record goodwill for the partnership. However, question does not mention how much total goodwill for partnership. The only information we have is 45,000 ringgit share of premium goodwill for Fatima. So, we need to compute based on this information. Uh, question does not mention about method, isn't it? So, understood this is ratio basis or ratio method. Okay, so how do we compute? Okay, now, Fatima's goodwill, 45,000, isn't it? Okay, Fatima is the new partner. So, I need to know her profit sharing ratio. So, let's read the question. We find out profit sharing ratio. Okay, info number three, guys. Okay, info number three. Okay, look at here. Upon Fatima's admission into the partnership, a new partnership agreement provide that profit and losses are to be shared equally among partner. Ah, uh, so we need to say partner they are three after Sarah resigned. So they are three partners, isn't it? So who are our left partners? Okay, Eileen, Hanis, Fatima. So profit share relationship equally, we need to say our NPSR, one for Eileen, one for Hanis, one for Fatima. Ah, uh, okay, go back to our competition of goodwill, everyone. So guys, our goodwill competition, so we know that ratio for Fatima is one. 1 out of 3. How do I get 3? 1 plus 1 plus 1. But I don't want goodwill 1 over 3. I want goodwill 3 over 3. That's why the way we compute is, okay, takes Fatima's goodwill 45,000. Multiply by, I want to know 3 over 3, right? Multiply by 3. Divided by Fatima's goodwill is 1 over 3, right? Divided by 1. So the total amount of goodwill for the whole partnership is 135,000. Uh, 135,000 guys, we are going to record in our goodwill account. Okay? Now, when we record our goodwill account guys, normally goodwill, it will increase capital when you record. So, who deserve to receive our goodwill? Okay, ask yourself. Which partner were there when company first set up until your brand become famous? Old partner or new partner? Logically thinking, new partner knows nothing because she is new. Isn't it? That's why when you record goodwill, meaning to say increase goodwill, we give the goodwill to our old partners by using all profit sharing ratio. So in this case, Sarah, Aileen and Hanis. So profit sharing ratio is 3, 4, 2. Uh, this one I guess, eh? Okay, 3, 4, 2. Okay, so let's record. When we record, we need to say increase, record in debit columns. 
Ah, record in the big corner, okay? Okay, so Sarah, 3 over 9. I already told you how did I get 9. Multiply by Goodwin. Uh, Eileen, 4 over 9. Hanis, 2 over 9. Okay, you guys will record and then you will get 45, 60,000 and 30,000. Okay, and then find the balance. Okay, debit mean plus. So, Sarah, 45,000. Eileen, 45 plus 60. Hanis, 105 plus 30. So, you will get back 135,000 ringgit. Okay, now, transfer. Okay, our goodwill. Increase goodwill in capital. Increase mean add in capital. Okay, go to your capital statement, everyone. So, under add, you write here goodwill, OPSR, copy and paste whatever you have computed just now. Alright. Okay, next one guys. Okay, goodwill. Based on our syllabus, you guys know that goodwill is not to be maintained in our account. So, right now, our goodwill, we have a balance CD, 135,000, isn't it? No balance CD. Make sure balance CD is zero. That's why, guys, we are going to close Goodwill account. When you close Goodwill account, guys, we are going to take the money from which partner, guys? New partner or old partner? New partner. Not old partner. New partner. It is like when new partner comes in, alright? New partners need to give compensation to old partner for their effort. Uh, that's why our new partner has become Aileen, Hanis and Fatima. By using new profit share ratio, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. Alright? Okay, so when we want to close Goodwill account, should we add more or should we reduce the account? Reduce the account. So you deduct. So deduct mean credit call column. Okay, so you guys apportion 1 over 3 multiplied by 135,000 for 3 of them. So 45, 45, 45. Okay, next step. Okay, calculate our balance CD. Okay, Eileen, 135 minus 45, 90. Hanis, 90 minus 45, 45. Ah, uh, 45 minus 45, finally is 0. Ah, okay guys. Alright, when you deduct, credit column means capital statement U less. Okay, go to capital statement, guys. Okay, under less, goodwill and PSR. So, minus 45,000 for three of them. Eileen until Fatima. Okay, settle for our goodwill. Okay, next step, guys. Okay, read the information. Okay, how about our new partnership agreement other than new profit share ratio? No IOD. No interest on capital. No salary. I love, guys, this new partnership agreement. Ah. If you do comparison, guys, free profit, we have IOC, IOD, salary. But do you post no IOC, IOD, and salary? Meaning to say, guys, these three benefits compute only during pre period. No post period. Post period, it becomes zero. Okay? Alright, next. Uh, number four. Due to changes in the partnership, the asset of the partnership were revalued. This one, I am talking about tangible asset. Goodwill, intangible, settle. Now, we settle tangible asset, you record in revaluation. Okay. And then, you guys are given surplus on revaluation. Surplus mean profit. Ah, 86,400. Okay, everyone, let's record our three-column account for revaluation. Guys, revaluation, it will give impact to capital statement. Profit on revision, increase capital statement. Uh, and then loss on revision, decrease your capital statement. That's why, guys, capital classified under category of honest equity, isn't it? So, increase honest equity, credit. Decrease honest equity, debit. That's why, guys, revaluation account, credit represent plus, debit represent minus. Okay, straight away, you guys record here. Copy the question, surplus on revaluation. So, this one is profit, record in credit column. Uh, so, now our balance has become 86400 Okay, remember guys, balance CD for revaluation and goodwill must be zero. So, guys, let's close our revaluation account. When you close, should we add more or should we decrease, guys? Decrease. Uh, record on debit column. Okay, 
to whom should we give this revelation profit thing? Which partner were there when we bought the assets? Old partner or new partner, guys? Old partner. That's why we are using OPSR. Uh, so, ratio 3, 4, 2. Uh, multiply by surplus on revelation. So, you will get this amount. Alright? Okay, total up. How much our balance for Sarah? 86,400 minus 28,008. And then, I need 57,006 minus I need's portion. So, Hanis 19,002 minus 19,002. So, now our balance CD has become Z, zero. Okay. So, profit, it will increase capital statement. Okay, go to capital statement. Under add. Okay, go to add. So, right here. Ah, revaluation profit. So, copy and paste whatever you guys already computed. Ah, Sarah until Hanis. Okay, so settle for revaluation. Okay, next, drawings. So, what is drawings, guys? Drawing, partner took money from the partnership. So, every time partner took money from the partnership, guys, takes money from the partnership, it will decrease their current account. Current account or current statement. Uh, that's why drawing, you need to deduct. Okay? So, let's record Sarah, Eileen and Hanis. Okay, go to current statement. Uh, minus their drawing, guys. And the last drawing, you minus. Okay, next. Okay, next. Number six. Net profit for the year ended 31 December 2022, 199800 Ah, okay. Guys, question does not mention about any partners give loan to partnership and then we need to pay, we need to pay Interest on loan, no such information, isn't it? So, we assume no interest on loan. So, guys, our net profit straight away, we can apportion to pre and post period. Okay, here we go, guys. Net profit. Okay, pre, 8 over 12 multiplied by net profit. Post, 4 over 12 multiplied by net profit. Guys, net profit, the name is not adjusted net profit. Adjusted net profit only happen if you minus interest on loan. So, in this person, no IOA, right? So, net profit is just net profit. Okay, settle. Okay, next one, guys. Let's settle our pre-period and post-period agreement. Okay, so here we go. Number one, interest on capital during pre, 5%. During post, none. Okay, who amongst our partner has balance... BD for capital, Sarah, Eileen, Hanis. Isn't it? Okay, so let's record. Okay, guys, when you do the computation, do it in a proportion statement. The partner for a proportion statement is current statement. Okay, so in a proportion statement, how do we know add or less? Partnership receive money, you add. Partnership pay the money, you less. So in this case, guys, interest on capital, normally partnership will pay to partners. So, cash outflow. So, you deduct. Uh, that's why less IOC. Okay. So, Sarah, how many percent I will read? 5% multiply by Sarah's capital 90,000. A portion to pre-period 9. Uh, sorry, 8 over 12. Okay. Eileen, 5% multiply by her capital 60,000. A portion to pre-period. Hanis. 5% multiply by her capital 75, a portion to pre, period. Uh, so, you will get this amount. Okay, next step. So, if you less in appropriation, then current statement contradict. So, you add. Uh, so, in current statement, okay, copy and paste whatever you have computed here. Give it to Sarah, Eileen and also Anis. Uh, Hanis. Alright? Okay, settle IOC. Okay, number two, IOD. Interest on drawing, normally partnership will charge to partner because partner took money. So, partnership is not happy. So, partnership charge partner with money. So, partnership receive money. So, receive money meaning to say, guys, act. Act. Uh, that's why IOD you act. But remember, guys, IOD we only compute during pre, not during post. Uh, no IOD during post, right? Okay, now, who has drawing? Okay, number one, Sarah. Guys, Sarah only exists during pre, isn't it? Be careful. 
our pre-period up until 31st August, isn't it? That's why Sarah, you guys compute until 31st August. Eileen also same. Until 31st August, pre-period only. Ha, guys, how about Anis? Anis took the drawing first September. Guys, September falls under post-period, right? Post-period, we know that no IOD. So, should we compute for Hanis? No need, no need. Because no IOD under post. Uh, just settle Sarah and Eileen. Alright? Okay, Sarah. 1st May until 31st August. Should we include May? Guys, she uses the money for the whole May. More than 15 days. So, you must compute starting from May. So, May, June, July, August, 4 months. 4 over 12. Isn't it? Okay, let's calculate guys. Sarah during free, 7% multiply by her drawing, a portion to four months. So, 140. Okay, how about Eileen? Okay, Eileen took the money March. Should we include third March guys? Okay, March, third March. Until 31st March. Meaning to say she used the money more than 15 days, right? So, include March. Until 31st August, our pre-period. So, March, April, May, June, July, August, 6 months. Isn't it? So, for Eileen, 7%. Eh, sorry guys, is it uh, is it uh, 7 months? Okay, let me calculate again. March. March until August eh? Okay, March, April, May, June, July, August. Sorry guys, 6 months. Okay, 6 months eh? 6 over 12. Okay. So, let's calculate for Eileen. Okay, Eileen, 7%. Multiply by her drawings. A portion to 6 months. So, you will get 315. Okay. If a proportion you add, of course, current statement you less. Okay, guys. Copy and paste in current statement. Under less, you guys deduct here. Alright. Okay, next. Last but not least, salary. Okay, salary only exists during pre, right? Okay, salary normally partnership pay salary. So, pay salary cash outflow. Okay, deduct. Less. Uh, so, under category of less. Okay, so three of them receive the same salary 2004 per month, right? So, we multiply by pre-period 8 months. Uh, so, for three of them, guys, Sarah, Eileen, Hanis, 2004 multiplied by 8. So, you will get 19,200. Okay, 19,200, you guys transfer to current statement. This one less, current statement you add. Uh, copy and paste here. Okay, settle. Alright, that's it for our information, isn't it? Okay, now guys, let's compute. Ah, uh, Let's compute how much our net profit or net loss. Okay, settle a profession statement. Pre net profit at IOD minus IOC minus salary. You should get this amount. Uh, post only 66,600 66, because no uh, partnership agreement during post. Okay, so now we get positive amount, right? Positive amount, it means that guys, net profit. Uh, net profit will increase current statement. Okay, so let's apportion our pre profit. Give it to... Our old partner by using all profit share ratio. Uh, so, Sarah, Eileen and Ha, Hanis. So, the ratio is 3, 4, 2. Multiply by pre-profit. And then, during post, we have Eileen, Hanis and Fatima, right? Profit ratio is 1, 1, 1. Multiply by post-profit. Uh, so, guys, be careful eh. So, when you total up, make sure you will get back the original amount. Yeah. Ah, this is original amount. Make sure you guys get this amount. Okay? So, when you need to adjust, please adjust. Please adjust. Uh, especially plus one or minus one. Alright. So, next step guys. Let's uh, transfer share of profit to partner's current statement. Guys, when you transfer, you must transfer for one year. So, pre plus post. Uh, pre plus post. Okay, that's why under current statement, a pro pression profit, you should get this amount. Okay, pre plus post. Uh, because current statement, capital statement, we record for one year. That's why we have opening balance, closing balance. Okay, the next step guys. Okay, let's close our current statement and then find our balance CD. Okay, balance BD plus add. Uh, you guys should get this amount. Okay, please check. 
And then Hanis make sure negative 9,000 you minus eh. Minus. Okay. Ha, this one Papa tengok. Okay. Calculate our balance CD. Balance CD add minus uh, everything under less. Okay. So total up. Okay. You should get this amount. Okay. Next. Remember guys Sarah already left the partnership right? So Sarah no more balance CD. So her balance CD is 65912. What should we do? Transfer to capital statement. That's why you record here partner's capital statement minus her balance CD. Uh, 65912 minus. So now balance CD has become Z, zero. Okay, next step. Go to Sarah capital statement. Okay, if current U minus capital F. So under F, you write here partner's current statement. Transfer this one to this one. Okay. Alright guys. Calculate uh, capital statement balance CD. Okay. Start from balance BD. Balance BD plus add. Uh, total up. Uh, how much? Uh, make sure you guys get same as mine. Okay. This one Fatima. Okay. Next. Add minus uh, less. How much? Okay. This one for Aileen. Hanis. Uh, this one correct. Okay. Guys. How about Sarah? Balance CD for Sarah is 229712. Remember guys, Kwasi mentioned, okay, any settlement for Sarah will be paid by cash, isn't it? So, how much your balance CD? 229712. This one we are going to pay to her by, by cash. Uh, so, deduct here. 229712. Okay, now her balance CD has become zero. Alright. Okay, settle. Okay, guys, I guess that's all for past year February 2022.